Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Europe Universalis 4 as the Oriatord. Okay, so uh, we are currently working on reclaiming the lost land of the Ming, uh, in preparation of annexation of course, so that we eventually can, um, you know, annex all this land without taking any overextension or any, um, or any, you know, paying any stuff to get cores and stuff, if everything goes to plan, that is. I still don't know if this plan is going to work, but, you know, we have been able to give them line, we have been able to vassal vassalize them, so the big thing that I don't know yet is whether or not we, um... I don't know if we have to, uh, like, if we try to annex a very, very big vassal, is that going to be bad in some way? Is that going to take a lot long time, you know? Th there's a bunch of things that we, um... There's a bunch of different things that we need to take into consideration. But, anyways, uh, I'm still going to work on it. So, I mean, regardless if we are able to annex them or not, I mean, we're still going to have a big chunk of land here. Just, we're a big, very big vassal. So that's going to be a good thing, regardless of how we look at it. Uh, other than that, I have been getting... Uh, there's one guy I just want to address um, that he's been commenting on my videos, telling me to invade the Uzbeks. And I'm sorry that it took like, I don't know, 10 episodes <laughs> for me to be able to, um, uh, some, somewhere around 10 episodes, for me to be able to sort of um, respond to the comment or whatever. I did, you know, respond to the comment in the comment section, but still, um, you know, I feel like it's worth noting. Uh, I do, of course, read the comments, but, you know, and this is a little extreme. It, I'm, I usually don't record episodes this far ahead, but I've been enjoying this campaign so much that I haven't really... I haven't really felt like stop playing, I just feel like playing more and more because this is, I don't know, by far the most fun I had in this game so far, so I'm just gonna keep playing. But yeah, and he's asking me the, to invade the Uzbeks, and I uh, I can promise that I will do that at some point. But right now I wanna focus on, I wanna finish up this, I wanna sort of wrap up this area, and then I'm going to start moving this direction. Uh, that's my plan anyways. Uh, yeah, I don't really see why I should, you know, stress out uh, in this area. I want to neutralize this area first. So, now that that is out of the world, uh, let's keep going. The next on the target, or the next victim, if you want, would be, of course, the uh, the she. The people that we released solely for the purpose to, you know, make them take land from the Ming, and now we're going to give it back. Oh, shit. The Ming don't actually have cores on this anymore. When did that happen? They have claims on it, but they have lost all their cores. Well, they have one core here, so I guess we can take that. Yeah, it seems like they have been fighting the Ming or something. I don't know how they pulled this one out, but... Yeah, now that's bad. It's rather bad, yeah. Uh, of course, this is... Um, this is going to make it so that we... Um, we might have to do some uh, actual... or. I, you know what I could do? I could just fucking... I could just vassalize the Xi as well, you know? Um, I could weaken them by taking some territory and making them give some land away to the Ming. And then I could start like... Um, I could start like... Um, I could vassalize them as well. Same with like for the Shun, but from what I can see, the Ming still have the majority of... They are course pretty much on all this stuff. Uh, well, this is only course of Zhao and Xi. Or not course, it's only core of the Xi. Only one province left is core of the Ming. I guess that's even more reason to get get a war with these guys quickly started because we want to make sure we um, we want to make sure that we can uh, at least get that one province from them. Damn, that's disappointing. I thought that these Zhao were the only ones that have that was smart enough to remove cores, but I guess I guess they weren't. I have underestimated these guys. Uh, but that's fine. Some, I mean, it would be a little overpowered to give all the lands back, wouldn't it? But I'm not giving up, though. We're still going to pull something off. Uh, diplomat has arrived. Okay, we have a bunch of diplomats now. We should uh, put uh, put our guy here to improve relations with the Ming. It's going to take forever until till we get positive relations with them. So, but still, I feel like it's a worth a worthy thing to do. I mean, uh, it is going to give us some advantages at least. Okay, uh, let's keep going. Okay, so I think at this point I'm just going to wait until the Shun, uh, or until a truce with the Shun runs out, and once that has happened I will just keep doing the same I've done uh, with the Ming. Other than that though, I guess I might want to postpone the uh, the war against the Uzbeks a little bit. Sorry for that, by the way. But I really want to... Um, I guess maybe I'll, I'll just have to do the old-fashioned way of taking these lands by just conquering them straight out. 
Although this time around I will remember the fact that uh, I want to make sure I have claims on all of them before I before I do anything. Oh, see see there is any mission. Save the Mongol people. Nope. 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 Oh, this, yeah, we can do this one. Fortify cats. That sounds fun. Uh, can we do that straight away? Cats. Here we go. I'm sure I don't actually pronounce that correctly, but... Oh, <laughs> that was an easy mission. Derp. Uh, oh, yeah. We do need to make this a core, I think, because if not, it's going to give us overextension. Wow, that's expensive. Holy crap. I guess... Wow, look at that tax, though. Mm, that's some good stuff. Um... Anyways, really, is the base tax of these provinces that high? What's the base tax of this one? Doesn't tell me, does it now? Income. Nope. One, one, two. Here we go, four. Okay. That's better. Yeah. So, in one way, it's, it's a bad thing to take places with a high, um, with a high base tax because it's so expensive to core them. Yeah. I think we're just going to have to sacrifice our administrative power and wait even longer to reform the government, but that's no stress. It's mainly just, um, yeah. It would have been nice to get one more, or to get a little bit more technology. To get one more so I could g gain temples and constables, but I guess for now we're gonna, we're just gonna have to wait on that. Um, so let's go ahead and make a core here. <coughs> uh, prove, improve, prove legitimacy. Wow, that's quite harsh. But I guess there's nothing else to take right at the moment, so we might as well. Hopefully we'll get there at some point. Oh man, I should really go ahead and create more, more advisors, I feel. Because I really want those boosts to power. Especially the diplomatic one. But none of these guys are actually good. They're all, I guess this guy can work out, because he'll give us better relations with the Ming. So let's take him for now. Hopefully that'll be a good thing. But it's mainly, of course, just to get the um, the extra um, the extra points, basically, to make up for the fact that we are the nomads, or we are uh, we are in the nomad group, basically. That's the main reason for that. Where are where there's our army? I wonder why we had so few troops. Okay, let's go in and invade the Shi. They're actually finally, finally been able to s salvage their country from um, from rebels, and now we are going to come along and just destroy them. But that's fine. We can. That that sounds fun, right? Yeah, everybody likes a little bit of tribal conquest. Don't we have a conquest on them? We have a claim. No, that's Ming. Okay. Shit. I guess I would like to take act take at least one province from them in this war. Preferably something with a little, not that high of a base tax. Wow, all of these are super expensive. I guess I might want to take like, because I'm going to have to conquer these provinces, so... Taking like these two or something like that? Wow, they're super expensive though. These two aren't that bad, so this one maybe? I'll take that one. Can I even fabricate a claim on that? Or does it have, do it, or does it have to, um, actually border me? Yeah, it has to border me. No, it doesn't. Nanyang, Dali. What the fuck is Dali? Oh, that's that's Ming. Oh no 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 no. These guys. Here you go. Fabricate. Yeah, only these guys, or only the border ones. Oh well. I guess we can sort of make our way around here. That should work. So let's do uh, that. What's the most expensive here? That's the one. That, that's the cheapest one. So I'll make sure to take that. Go ahead and fabricate a claim on that. That's going to take a while. So I guess we want to postpone the war. Like so, and then we'll just sit around for a while, I guess, while we wait for the claims and stuff to come around. In the meantime, we're joining our... Oh, no, finally the Peasant War ended. Yeah, they've really shrunk. Mevari seemly, seems like to be the main power in India now. Lose ability or lose money. I, I can handle the money. I guess we want to go ahead and, you know, slightly decrease our maintenance for our army while we wait for the... Um, while we wait for the claim to happen. Core construction, yeah. Common, uh, where does it say where I'm... Oh, yeah, that's fine. Where does it say? Oh, I guess it doesn't say. Oh, Zhao. Reconquest. 
As long as they don't take this one, I'm fine. If they do, then, well, fuck. That would be lame. They do actually... Oh, fuck, they actually have a core there. Oh, I guess they're going to take that one, but that's not too bad. We can always just take it from them again, you know? It's cool, it's cool. Uh, okay, let's keep going. What are you guys doing? Seriously, they're just dancing. Fuck the war, man, we're going to dance. So that's how we roll in China. Fur, more fur, that's good, because that's valuable. If I remember, you look at that. Awesome. Good, good. Mm. Yeah, that colony is not going too long, or that's... That colony is slow, slow... Yeah, only 40 per year. We've gained conquests. Uh, did we just gain our... Uh, we did. Oriator does a claim. Uh, I guess we want to go ahead and... No! They, of course, of course they are the ones occupying this shit. Fuck. Oh well. I might want to wait, don't I? Nah. Should I? Yeah. Let's do. Let's just do a simple war of conquest. Let's go ahead and fabricate a claim on this one as well. We have no diplomats. There we go. Fabricate a claim on that one as well. And um. Ooh, Nanyang. Where is that? Nanyang. Nanyang. Which nation? Of neighbors. Yeah, I oh, no, fuck, it's for the Ming. Okay. I'm not gonna attack my own vassal, that wouldn't make sense. Um, oh, the Shi are actually reconquering that, because if I can claim that province, then I can. I want to declare war on them straight away then. Yeah, no! Fuck, that's lame. We're set back a while. Oh well. They, they lose hostility, and uh, yeah, awesome. Good. Perfect. Good stuff. Oh, no, they took that one. Okay. Uh, Delhi, uh, never mind. Yeah, you, you siege that stuff. I would love to get a claim there, though. Yeah, so much for having Castle Spelly on everyone, damn it. Um, but the game says it's cheaper to car provinces with a claim, so I'm going to believe them. Sad thing, we can't get claims on these unsettled provinces. That would be nice. Oh well. I guess that's not happening. Oh, political crisis! Uh, why is this happening? Oh, fuck, I can't handle that. Well, that's... That's our administrative power gone. <laughs> yeah, wow. That's lame. Oh, well. Ah, uh, Diplomat has arrived. Is he finished? Yes, he is. Okay, so now we have claims on both these. This one is open for me. Uh, and they should be easily defeated. Okay, good. Now, um, now we will, now will be the time to invade. So we'll do this, we'll do just that. I declare war. I'm gonna do one of these ones. Um you I don't know. I think that's one of the most that's the most expensive ones. We'll take that. No, no I don't wanna call, call my allies. Oh, okay, that escalated. Uh no, they they should be fine. They should be easy to kill off. Now let's march. Quick try and quickly wrap up this war here. Ah, yes, uh, military access. Sure, you can come into my lands and walk around and be happy. That sounds like a nice thing to do. Zao. Defender, yeah. Okay, so I... I want to make sure I occupy as many territories as possible, so I'm going to start splitting up my guys. Like so, to try and grab as many of these as possible. Uh, attacker, that's the Zhao, so we don't want to stand there, and we don't want to help them out. That would be dumb. We only want to take provinces where we actually are going to have an advantage to doing so. So let's put this army over there, I think. We are the attacker here, right? Here we are. Okay, great. And we'll just do a quick siege. Quick little siege. Oh, look at that, the relations are actually getting better. Nice. Uh, we gain legitimacy, that's nice. I really need that. More legitimacy, that's another real good reason for making war. Keep getting our- oh, Manchurians! No! It's a nice little combination of this army and 
that army can move up north to deal with the Manchus. Why do you revolt against me? What have I done to you? Except for my annexing you, of course, but that was... you can... What did you really expect from me? Uh, yeah, it's a bunch of small modifiers that's come by. Yeah, yeah, these provinces here, they were all occupied by somebody else at some point, and as a result, there's still nationalism here. It's gonna last for quite a while. So there's going to be some unrest in this area. I should I should sort of have a I should have an army constantly stationed up here in the same way I have an army here. That that only makes sense. There we go. That happened. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. Hopefully the uh, Zhao will peace out now. Oh, that's a rebel. That's 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 some serious revolters right there. Holy crap! Well, let's make sure we have a leader. I was actually conquistador. That's fine. Put him there, and we want to recruit some more men. We can we can afford that, yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, wow, we have a superiorly high force limit, so that's not a problem at all. What does this army have? It needs more cavalry, I think. So, two more. Yeah, just three more cavalry. That should work. Three more cavalry and that'll do it for this army. That should make it powerful enough to take down these rebels. Well, let's see what can we gain from them in a peace treaty. I want that, I want that and that. They would accept. Return course. Why not? Ooh, yeah, that's expensive for <laughs> overextension. Shit. Shit. Um, this is a core of the Ming and it is occupied by me. I don't really understand why I'm why I'm not capable of giving the revoke your course on Ming lands. No, why would I want that? So I cannot. Is it because I decided to take land? No, it's just not possible. Okay, never mind then. We'll just do some good old good old conquest. No, I, I would much rather have your money. That's it though. So nope, they will not accept. I guess we can make them revoke some of their cores and some stuff. That'll be good for later. How close are they to becoming a vassal? Not that far away, actually, so we could vassalize them. Especially if the Zhao decides, decides to take some more land from them. Is this going to make a difference? Mm, yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, it's going to take that. Yes, I think eventually we are going to want to vassalize the Xi in the same way that we vassalized the Ming. Because we can't use the trick that we are using on the Shun, for example, for conquering them. It is. So I think the same applies for the. I'm just going to vassalize all of these nations, I think, and slowly annex them one by one. I think that would be the best idea, because this right here is just um, terribly expensive in terms of um, points and that kind of stuff. Immediately go in and spend some stuff to make these cores. Very much expensive, but hopefully it's going to be worth it in the long run. Okay, we might as well station some troops here just to keep the rebels down. And uh, while this army, or these armies, can move up here just to prepare for anything stupid. Yeah, I guess, yeah, they'll know these guys can combine and move up to, um, I guess they should walk through our own lands. We have lost the conquest. Yeah, that's Explainable. Uh, three years, nothing. Three years, yeah. So I think that's maybe it. So the, maybe it's not like the cost is very expensive, but it takes a lot less time though to get the course. So we have to struggle with overextension for a lot shorter, shorter amount of time. Yeah, we are. Yeah, this is quite bad. We're getting a bunch of revolt risk from having this. In our entire nation now is quite revoltery. If that's a word. I'm sure it is. Sure, I'm sure it is. Yeah, this is not good. But it's just something we have to deal with. We are a horde, after all. Uh, what? What did they do? I don't even... I didn't pay attention. Oh, they're a coalition. Oh, that's fine. That's very fine. Yeah, okay. My Khan. Shun. Oh, no. Not the Shun. Ah, oh, I tremble. Oh, no. Not Korea. So, yeah, this guy's gonna be a little bit problematic, I guess, but, you know, it's not really not going to be a problem. 
We are easily capable of outclassing everybody at this point. Like, because, oh, yeah. By the way, if we... Can we just declare on the Zhao straight away? I would prefer... Or to be honest, I wouldn't... Ah, uh, no, it wouldn't matter, would it? Hmm. I think I would have to conquer a little bit more of the... Um, of the Zhao before I could vassalize them. I think, like, three provinces seems to be, like, a good number. If, if you can get a nation down to that number, then you're good, pretty much. So that's what I've noticed, anyways. Should I... Ah, uh, that's expensive, though. No, I'm not gonna do it. They, I'm just gonna instead handle the revolt like a... Manly man. Because I don't want to, um... Uh, are we even... Are, are we even, even paying our troops? Yes, we are. Yeah, I'm gonna pay them all the way until I can at least... Oh, we need a leader. So no leader there. And put a leader here. That should kill off that. Oh, wow. Nationalists. We are, we are having some serious... Revolt problems here. I guess it's the good thing we are amassing our armies in... Oh, whoa! Calm down! This is getting a little over over the top. It will be fine in three years then. We will have enough... Um, we'll get rid of our overextension once that's been done. Okay, let's go there. And once these guys unite... There we go. Okay, I need another leader. Do I even have anyone else? I guess I can make my... No, fuck it. I'm just gonna recruit a proper leader. I don't feel... I don't wanna... I don't wanna have another succession crisis, especially when I'm having so much rebel... Rebellion risk already. That would be madness. Madness indeed. Oh, now they hate us again. Why? Ah, aggressive expansion. Yeah, that's a problem. Totally didn't think about that. We're never going to be able to get the Ming. Or we are going to get them eventually, but it's gonna take forever. But that's the point. It's going to it's going to happen at some point, and that's the whole purpose of this. Eventually, we will be able to annex them. It's going to just take quite a while, because we have to get rid of all the um, the penalties for having conquered their provinces, as well as you know the fact that we declare war on them and a couple of those you know nasty little things. <laughs> um, they are all different things, and especially uh, if you if you keep if we if we keep conquering like this, we're gonna get more and more of the aggressive stuff. So I just want to make sure I just want to get I I want to get all of China vassalized, um, so that I can start dealing with other stuff. What the hell? We have a general over here? That's a waste. Oh well. Ayutthaya. Conflict against Shan. No, Shan. What did I ever do to you? We're still allied, right? Yeah, we are. That's gonna kill our prestige, but that doesn't matter. Um, and here the war calls from Shaan comes. Yeah, we'll, I'd much rather help them. Oh, fuck. Did we become... Oh, god damn it! We became the leader. That is lame. And we lose some stability. Fuck. Aye, aye, aye. Can't really afford taking any troops anywhere now. I have far too much revolt risk to do anything of that. I have to deal with my revolts. Or my overextension more accurately. So how far away are we from attacking the Shun? Uh, hey, we converted someone. That's nice. Uh, let's find some uh, what's let's find some more people to convert. I would really like to convert these guys, but it takes so long. Oh, oh, we're not even capable of converting that province. This province have, has been under, under our rule for so long, it's crazy. Yet we have ne never been able to convert them. Uh, where can we convert anyways? So these are all the provinces that need converting. Um, so I don't know what the green thing means. I really don't understand that. Like what 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 does it mean? Like the greener the province is, the better. Uh, hey, we can actually convert these fuckers now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. We'll make sure we do that then, because I really want to get these provinces converted. I'm getting sick of having a revolt risk all out, all out here. Uh, it's, it's only one percent though. So let, like, what's the percentage of one of these provinces, for example? Only one percent. Oh, here's three percent. Yeah, it takes a lot less time to get these ones. I, I think I actually want to focus on these ones. Because they take, like... Or how, how long is this going to take? Yeah, it's going to take a while. So I'd much rather do these ones, because they are a lot faster. 
I want to take sort of the lesser populated ones because I want to... The more provinces that are converted, the better, I think. Because that, in that way, we gain only a certain provinces we have to worry about when it comes to revolts and that kind of stuff, so... So that's something. How are we doing with the Shun? Still truce? Yep, still truce. Truce, I don't know perfectly how you pronounce that. You get the idea. I guess this army here is capable of defeating the Shun by themselves. They should be. Because I don't have to take a bunch of my troops off rebel hunting. I guess I can take this army off. Ah. Uh, and help out. Korea has left a coalition. That's good. Hey, our colony is done. That is good. We can go ahead. Oh, that's super cheap. Nice. I don't know why that colony all of a sudden is so cheap. But it is. Losing a bunch of money, but I'm not worried. I'm confident in my abilities to be awesome and stuff. Ooh, we can start colonizing this stuff now. That would be nice, getting these coastlines. It's gonna take forever to move all the way around here. But it is something to aim for, but no, I, I think I'm gonna focus on these ones. Yeah, but I've been really lucky though. The Russians haven't really been able to... Um, they haven't really been able to uh, unify yet. Usually the Mus Muscovy just blobs everything and they become super powerful and they start expanding this way. But that hasn't happened yet, so... Why don't we just start taking... I, I, yeah, I, I guess I'm gonna move all the way there and I don't... I, getting these two would be a little bit weird, I think. Or maybe it wouldn't. I, I don't know. Because if we, if we eventually were to conquer the Uzbeks anyways, then I mean it wouldn't hurt. Anyways, let's let's just get the... let's just get this colony. It's very cheap, so it's going to be very cheap for coring. Hey, you can get a new idea. Overseas exploration. Nah, that's really not worth it. I would. I need my points for uh, my for uh, negotiating peace treaties and stuff. How are we doing? Yep. Now we can attack them. Coalition against the Oriat Horde. Who else? These guys, but they don't matter. These guys are not in coalition. Yeah. So we should be fine. They're allied to Lang Sang. Then um, they're down here. I'm not scared of them. That should go f be fine. Oh fuck, we're actually... S s yeah, we're in there. Totally forgot about this war. But, um... Yeah. What do you want? What What could I offer you? I will concede defeat. Nope. I will. I don't want to do anything of these. I, all I want is to... Whatever you want, you can get it. So once they have, once they start asking for peace treaties, as long as they don't ask me for a bunch of money or anything, I'll, I'll accept it. Oh fuck, our our extension is bad now. Yeah, that's a good, that's a bad thing. I mean, damn. But yeah, let's just go to war with these guys. I I hunger for conquests, or future conquests. You get the idea. Declare. Take. Nah, I've taken enough land. I'll just show superiority. Shan will not join me, even though I joined them in their war, so that's sad. But what can you expect from these types of people? They're, I guess they're not exactly known for their... For their helping out or whatever. Or I guess they are in... I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just derping at this point. Trying to... <laughs> trying to get some commentary going. Why are you going there? There we go. Caught up with them. And we kind of not really killed them. Yeah, close enough. We did something, at least. Let's go there. Still can't move anywhere, so we should be able to catch them. Yep, there we go. And we killed them. That's their army, so now we can start splitting up. And keep splitting up. And split up even more. Like so, and the same applies for this army. Split up there. Split up there. This army go there. That should be it. That's only, yeah, and that province is gonna take it by the Ming. Okay, perfect. Everything is working out. What are we converting right now? Like, I cannot remember this one. Okay, let's put our troops there then. Try and quell any rebellions that might come up. 
Speed of succession, that's fine. It would, be, it would be hilarious to get like a personal union with something, but eh. Like with Sean, could we claim their throne? Dynastic. Claim throne. No, we cannot. Oh, we don't have a royal marriage, but I don't, I don't want to get it. I want to save my... Um... Oh, we're actually losing here. Fuck. Uh... Army to the Rex. Army to the... No, we actually did win. Now they're going over there, though. That's not good. Yep, there we go. We... Oh, they're still mo moving around. I'll just keep hunting them down, then. Lost these kinds of things. That's okay. Now they're gonna... Oh, my God. Stop running away. Oh, fuck. Revolt over there. Do we have more than one? Yeah, two, one. There and there. You deal with them, and you... You... Deal with them. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep going. Get those sieges going. Yeah, that was one. That's good. Yay, we gained some stuff. That is always nice. Of course it is. Derp. We lost? Oh no, that's actually quite bad. Now they're running away to like... Far away, basically. Put it simple. Okay. Uh, lose prestige. Okay, I guess. What choice do I have? That is a siege, and then the rest will move onwards to kill off these rebels. Help out in the siege. There we go. Blame how they have so much war exhaustion, and that's fucking up their nation. Um, yeah, look at the Ming. Whoa, what Ming are doing? Not their Ming are not doing too well. Lost, lost, lost. Yeah, but they haven't done too much yet, though, have they? Oh, it's mainly the battles that they are killing with. Oh wow, yeah. Sorry, 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 Ch Chan. But you know, I I don't want to help you. You're not that important to me. My own revolt revolt risk is a lot more important to me. Good. Sieges are finishing. So let's just blob our troops up a little bit so that... I don't know. I think it goes a little bit faster at least. I think. This can't hurt. Oh, this one actually became occupied by the Ming and not by me. They are a vassal of me, but I didn't get the siege for some reason. It's because they have a core on it. I have no idea. I would love for them to just take the take the province. That, they, I would have nothing, nothing against that. That would be all fine by me. I took another one, another one, and come on, come on, no, there's money. Oh well, we have a lot of money because we have been just draining these guys for money. Peace offered. No, no peace. No peace was found that day. Uh, what? What did I gain? I don't even know. Oh, look at that! The Ming are invading these guys. That's hilarious. Now they're coming along here to fight. Wow. Oh well. I don't care, so it's fine. Discover an agent. Si Ooh! Siberia has become independent. Sweet! Same applies for Kazakh. Yeah, look at Uzbeks. They're just not existent anymore. So yeah, to so the guy in the comments who told me to invade Uzbeks. Yep, there you go. I guess that's not happening anytime soon. Or forever, really. Um, yeah, but I guess we can, you know... I guess what he meant was he wanted me to invade this general region over here, so... I'll get around to doing that. I would also love to take these provinces from the Timurids. Uh, in general, I would like to take all of Central Asia over here. But right now, I can't afford that in any, in any way possible, so... Um, oh, we get an army here for some reason. That's not needed over there, though, so... They can move southwards. These guys go there. Oh, look at the missionary. That's so fast. I like it. Yay! We've gained some cores. Now we no longer have our extension. Nice. We're working on this, though. You see, uh, I... Th yeah... Oh, wow, we're still working on these ones. Wow. Yeah, I guess that's proof. I, so I, I think I've understood the whole claim thing now. Um, so it doesn't really... It doesn't... It, it's not cheaper to buy or to take provinces 
It doesn't cost less uh, power to core or to core them, but they core a lot faster, so it's not as difficult, you know. Um, so I can basically conquer a lot more. In you know, I'm only limited about the you know the pure amount of power points I actually have to use. Alan, we can no longer claim. That's fine. I don't. I don't care. I, my sole focus is on China. China, China, China. Hey, we converted some derps over in Manchuria. Let's find some other derps that are easy to convert. That's kind of fast. That's more like it. Mind the nope. I guess we could do this one. Maybe no. That's one of those never ever converting provinces. Okay, um, how about one of these new provinces that we just got? That would be these two. Oh, we still haven't done this one. Let's do this one then. Convert all of China to Buddhism. Hey, we gained a core province. Great, that, even, that lowers our overextension even further. Now it's only 4%, that's nothing. It's only this one province here, and it's like super poor, so... That is not bad at all. It's good. Hey, can you please hurry up in this dumb siege? There we go, finally. So now we can enforce our demands against these derps. And that'll be, of course, um... Return of course to the Ming. All the provinces. All of them. Oh, I guess not all of them then. We have to do a little bit more. What's super expensive? This one is super expensive, so we'll not do that. Yeah, all of these other ones, except from these two, um, that'll be fine. Both of these are cores of Ming, aren't they? I think they are. Hope they are. Uh, so we don't gain anything, we only get a tiny, bit of, tiny little bit of prestige, but that's fine. Send our demands, I guess. Kablam! We lost that. Uh, I don't know what this was all about, but I guess it's something. Free advisor. Um, none of these things are actually important to me. We have this one though. Uh, we're losing, losing. Um, I need, I need to kick some of my leaders out to, uh, to get this guy. I, eventually, I will recruit this guy. I guess I can just recruit him once straight away. Shouldn't hurt. They'll make military technology cheaper and we only need that much points good very nice okay so now oh no the she uh she is having a bad day so we have a truce with both these guys and these guys so i guess the next target would be none other than the filthy zhao force him to give back some cores maybe do a little bit of conquest because i think yeah we i don't think we're going to be able to uh, vassalize them at the moment we have to Wait a bit, a little longer than that. So, uh, how's the Ming feeling about this? Oh wow, they actually don't hate us that much anymore. Ret yeah, the returning of the territory is really making things easier. Uh, but still, the aggressive expansion and um, the fact that we took their provinces at some point is still very hurting for them. I guess they won't forget that for a long time, won't, will they? Uh, but it'll, it'll get better though. Once we start expanding in like other areas than China, we will no longer. The Ming won't really care anymore whether or not we get aggressive expansion. So that's my thought process on that. These guys, I guess, can all unite somewhere around here. Or, no, let's go border to the Sao. Go to the border of Sao. Fuck. <laughs> English. These guys can do the same, only they can go over here. Yeah, I know, I know, I still have this dumb war over here, but... Uh, can I just get out of this? Of course, I ended up being the fucking war leader. Oh, we can just white peace out. Um, Can I force you to concede defeats? Nope. Oh, I concede. Nope, n never mind. Let's just send our demands. Stop this dumb war. We lost the claim. No. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I believe at this point, though, we would be smart to go ahead and fabricate some claims on the, um... On the derps of Zhao, so I would like... I think taking these provinces would work out, and uh, then I'll... That'll leave them, hopefully, and that'll give this province away to the Ming. And that'll leave them with three provinces, and that, that'll make them weak enough for us to be able to vassalize them. So I'll 
immediately start the process of uh, fabricating claims. Has no possible neighbor. What? What? What are you talking about? Why not? We already have a claim on that, and this one doesn't count for some reason. Oh, that's a core of the Ming, so we can just give that back to the Ming. Never mind then. So I'll, I'll claim this, give these to the Ming, and then vassalize them. Genius idea. Um, what? No. You derp. Fuck, that, that'll put me in a war, because these guys are in the, they're, they're in the coalition against me. Oh well, that's bad I guess, but what, what, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Nothing, that is. That's quite bad, but... Oh well. Uh, hey, we're going to claim on something we don't know, uh, we don't want, that is. That's lame. But uh, anyways, I think we're going to end the episode here, so thank you so much for watching this episode of uh, Let's Play European Vitalis 4 as the Oriatord, and until next time, bye.